this is Debbie from Lime Doodle Design and I'm delighted that I'll be joining you for Doodling with Debbie in 2021. One of the things that I've noticed recently is that simple projects are the most popular and so I'm starting out the year with a simple handmade Valentine's card but this card could be used all year round. Starting with the background and I love the delicate pattern of the boho circle stencil. I've used this stencil before, swiping white embossing paste over a fog grey card base for a subtle look. Today I'm after another subtle look with clear embossing on red card. As I'll be using embossing powder, I treated a piece of schoolhouse red card with anti-static powder to prevent embossing powder sticking everywhere. I then placed a the stencil on top and kept it in place with washi tape. I used clear embossing ink and lightly brushed it over the stencil design with a blending brush. The embossing ink is sticky and later when I sprinkle with clear embossing powder, the powder will stick to the ink. You could swipe the ink pad directly over the stencil design, however I felt I had more control with the brush and could make sure I got the ink into all the delicate details of the stencil. Lifting a stencil is always the best part as you reveal the pattern underneath and you can see the tone on tone effect of the embossing ink on the red card already. Adding clear embossing powder to the design will emphasise this further and so I sprinkle the card with clear embossing powder and then heat set. Because the clear embossing powder is white initially, I think the effect of heat embossing the powder, turning it from white to clear, is one of the most dramatic ways to demonstrate heat embossing. It really is a marvel to see the powder melt and smooth out. In this instance the result is that the clear embossed stencil design has a darker tone than the base red card. However, because the embossing protects the card underneath, you can add ink over the top and the red card beneath will shine through. I gently rub dark chocolate ink around the edges of the card to give a vignette effect. Where the ink is applied over the clear embossing, you get a darker base with the light red of the stencil design showing through. Then in the centre of the card where there is no ink, the clear embossing shows as a darker colour on the red base. I trim the base down to fit on an A2 card base. Because this then cut off some of the ink effect, I rubbed around the edges of the panel with dark chocolate ink again. For interest, I splattered gold paint over the background. I can't see me giving up the love of splatter in 2021. For the focal point of this card, I used the Love Birds die and cut it from ivory card. The simple cream die cut is the perfect foil for the richness of the background panel. For the sentiment, I wanted to pick out the gold splatter from the card base and bring that into the greeting. I used the Love Greetings Mix Set and stamped the I Love You Rectangle on ivory card with clear embossing, powder, oh, clear embossing ink before sprinkling with antique gold embossing powder and heat setting. I then trimmed the panel out with a scalpel and ruler, leaving a small cream outline around the embossing. I added the red embossed panel to a card base cut and scored from fog card using foam tape. I also used the tape to add the greeting and I used teeny tiny pieces of foam tape on the back of the lovebirds and I added that to the card so that the low leaves overlapped and connected the sentiment to the focal point. Again, picking out the gold, I added a triangle of gold sequins around the birds held in place with Gina K Connect glue. So there you have it, a simple handmade Valentine's card with a rich interesting background panel as a foil to a simple die cut and heat emboss sentiment. On the Samsa Stamp blog you'll find a coordinating blog post as well as details I've used today. If you want to find me, I blog over at limedoodedesign.com. I want to thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time.